This actually looks really good. Ooh, that feels good too. It's grippy. Yeah, that's rotating around the ring. See, 16 F. Well, 1.6. Yeah, so there's that. I'm printing the other ring. I decided to put a plate in the front versus keeping it see through like this. I don't know. I thought it would be neat at first, but I'm like, eh, kind of looks bad. Because it'll look weird where you've got the lens and then there's like spokes on the sides like that. So it'll just be solid with a gap, tiny gap for clearance. Then yeah, just be like this, and it really looks like a camera. <laughs> kind of neat. I've not designed these ones yet. So kind of, I don't know. It takes time. I gotta print them. It's more like getting the point across that you can make it look good like that. Alright, here are the rings. This one goes on first. This is the front of it. It has like a little plate. It goes like that. And this back one goes there. And then it would sit on the thing like that. When it's actually assembled, I'll take a better shot. Um, the way I did the screw going inwards was not a good idea. I should have given it more diameter for the screw to get in there, and also the angle is bad, so it's really hard to get it in there. This is so funny, like, here it is, right? I made it, and it looks bad. <laughs> Look, it just looks cheap. It's made of plastic. But, it is cool, like, it feels good to rotate it. It's not like you're trying to grab this tiny. So, yeah. I play around with that, but man, the design looks bad. I don't know if like another color could help, or it's not even like the texture of the grip. This is like an extruded cylinder. It looks plain. I don't know. Here you can see the individual rings. Man. So there's a problem with GPIO 17 when the OLED turns on like it sets that to high for some reason. I've tried making some workarounds like setting it back to input or resetting but yeah it's just having problems. I'm gonna have to take this thing apart pick another pin to put the left button on and then change the code that's just unfortunate. Thankfully it's not too hard to access. It's harder to put it together because of the tight coupling with the D-pad and the RPI. Which seems like it's one wire in particular that I could Good. Fix that so it's not as hard. <sighs> Fine, I will. I just picked uh, 21, which is right next to the ground pin. I gotta verify where that is. 
Then it should be back in action. Yeah, let's see. First image projected in an official setting. I had to swap uh, pins. Uh, which one? The back pin and the left pin because they were affected by that camera and OLED. So now it looks like I just gotta write good code. Okay, here's a demo. Like if you just turn it on, it takes a while to like boot, but. When the main process runs, your boot screen comes on. And then here you would have some menu, but it's ready. And then when you activate the camera preview, so it's there. And it is slow. Let's see. And then uh, you can see me rotating the lens. I think this one is aperture. I gotta look at the thing. Yeah, see, it's like extremely dark, so I closed it. Wide open, very washed out. I think this is focus. Not very bad. Very good. That's like the best focus. I can't take a picture because, uh, this camera loop isn't a thread so I can't hear uh, listen for the buttons so I gotta fix that but yeah at this point once you're happy with what you're seeing uh, you would take the picture like click it but uh, I also would have like the zoom pan crop thing which I don't have set up yet because right now it's like I'm looking at that uh, what is that that's a lens and uh I can't tell if like, it's in focus or it's blown out. It looks blown out from this little tiny display. That's the nail clipper over here. Alright. So, a quick project update. I killed two pies. That's great. Um, what's odd is... I tested the... OLEDs with the RPi4 and they both worked so the OLEDs aren't broken and the same code worked great like I could run it over and over and it wouldn't fail but this one does so tomorrow I'm gonna buy more pies <laughs> but one of them is gonna be a 2W uh, Pi 2 which is quad core yeah so hopefully I get that and hopefully that works better. And then I can actually complete this project because it got delayed and then I never got to go to the park. And I gotta work four days in a row. You know, at first I was not a fan of how this turned out, the like barrel thing, but it kind of looks legit, like with the size of that lens. There's some like white, you know, stuff left over from the. I, I used to have white as a filament and it was on the bed. So I'll pick that up, but. Yeah, and uh, spinning it like feels good. I think I already showed this, but. Yeah, like this is cool. I do like that. And like seeing it in the semi real time feedback is pretty cool. But, uh, okay, so, apologize, pie heaven, look at that, oh, so, yeah, I went to Micro Center today and bought three more, baby, <laughs> they're like, you can buy 15, I was like, no way, for 15 each, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, there was a, pr I was trying to get this thing done, by uh well yesterday and there was just a problem with the OLED like it kept going bad and I was trying to figure out like what is wrong is there like a shorted wire or what I think it's it's just code 
there is a performance thing. Like I plugged in the OLED to the RPi4 and it's it has its own HQ camera. It's an Ardu cam, but same like chip or whatever, IMX477. And that one worked great, like, and it was way faster to the screen. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, I just want to show, like, I'm SSH'd in here. Oh, crap, i got to type this in. My bad. Uh, oh, yeah, and I've had, like, Git get corrupted. So there's a couple of folders. What's nice, though, is I've been able to just clone this Rebo and run it, like, after swapping pies. My IP did change, but... Okay, so the program I'm running is... Which I'm not going to go too deep in this because it's not permanent. I was trying to write, like, the most minimal code so I could get this thing outside and film it at the park. Um, but... I was like, start the display, start the camera, start the buttons. Well, not start the camera, have the camera ready to go. Has the buttons, so all the buttons are bound. And then I had it where if you press the shutter, it activated the live preview, and I'll show that now. Uh, yeah, and I had it uh, in System D, like when you turn the pile on, it would run, but the, the boot time, it takes a while. It takes like a whole minute before it starts working. Uh, it's, it's on now. So, hold on. Where did I just put that? I have too many bash terminals open. Okay, so I go Python main. This is like as if it booted. Now I watch the screen. There's the welcome. It's brighter than that, it's just hard to capture. More vibrant, I should say. Come on. Uh, this is a basic way for me to tell that it's working. Oh, there we go. Let me, that might be better. Yeah, file count one. That's counting the files in the pictures folder, which there's just a git keep in there. I didn't like filter. But uh, the point is, if you look up here, the camera is initialized, and then I think the uh, buttons are bound. So if I go like left, right, oh, it's got something checking true. Uh, up, down, and center. So if I push the start. Oh man, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, see, you can see the OLED screwing up right there. Let me restart this process again, but I won't click any of the buttons. Except the shutter. Alright, let me try this again. Um, got an idea. Let's see if that'll show up. This time I'll not push any buttons, I'll just do the shutter. What the hell, it's upside down. <laughs> what the hell's happening? Bro. That's not right. <laughs> How's that happen? Try it again. See, now it's just dark. This is what I was having a problem with. <clears throat> I like took this thing apart. I tried so many things like, there's an 18650 in here now. There's a hardcore boost converter, like, 3 amp output, and I killed pies in the process of checking wiring. Ah, oh, man. I don't understand. But as I mentioned, when I run on a Pi 4, like, it's fine. Okay, I'll restart again. I added, uh, tape. There's a decent gap here. Shows the cable and some light coming through. I could print like a little piece and glue it, but uh, that's like a later problem. Um, it's like, is it on? No. I'm gonna try this again. 
this is the main code with the button initializing and everything. I have no idea why it was flipped. Like that's the first time that ever happened. Okay, that looks normal. Ah, I wish you could see that. Okay, that looks right. File count one. Camera's active. So I push the shutter. And it's broken. It's supposed to show the thing. Uh, shutter false. Yeah, I don't know why. Alright, last test will be just showing the OLED on its own. It's still like a camera pass through, but it's not tied to the button. Alright, let me try this again. This is the pure OLED test that now. It still like turns the camera on and feeds the loop as fast as it can into the OLED. Starts camera. Okay, there's the feed. See my hand? I probably, I might have showed this before, but the ring is great. Let's see, dark. That's closed, that's the aperture control. Oh man, it died. I don't, yeah, that's what's wrong. Like, I don't know if it's like a memory thing or what, but it craps out eventually. And then, that's why like I failed to take it out to the park. Cause like I was gonna go there, film this thing a little bit externally, and then show me trying out the different lenses. But yeah, it was just not reliable. Like I wrote the simplest code, you know, where it can take a picture, writes it to file system, and then you restart it and show the file count incrementing as a way to make sure you're actually taking pictures. But the t pictures, uh, for the most part, have zero data in them. It's like, ugh. I think it, like, fails during a write. It's, uh, my current guess is it's, uh, like, the loop is too fast, not able to keep up, and it, like, doesn't, uh, finish what it's trying to do. So, and I don't know how you can turn that into an async process, because you would think, like, Python is, you know, like, executes top to bottom. It's not really asynchronous. But, uh, I don't know. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And I'll do one more video, well, two more videos. The uh, menu design, which will improve over time, and then the actual usage of this thing in sample photos taken while using this OLED. I've already, like, tried it because I was able to take some photos, and it's not, well... I don't have that zoom pan feature developed yet, so, you know, it's hard to look at a small picture and be like, yeah, that looks good, and then you see it zoomed in and it's bad, or like stuff's not in focus. And it's like a far away thing, like everything should be in focus. Use a higher F number. It's hard to verify when you're looking at it, the whole picture fitting in 120 pixels. That's where the zoom pan comes in, you know, you click zoom, it magnifies a crop portion, and you can move it around and check. I would work on that if I could get past this problem. <laughs> so, yeah.